Hey you guys, Hunter Shepard Hunter here, back with another Fallout 4 time video during the Hibernation Festival. Let's see if we can figure out this uh, quiz they gave us. The blue shells glitter pearly in the morning sun. Ah, I know the answer to that. Hold on. They hide when the yellow sun grows too hot. No idea what it's supposed to mean though. I'll figure it out. Good luck. So I guess you just... They hide when the yellow sun grows too hot. Oh, I know the answer. The green train is almost here. Thank you. The green train is almost here. Oh, that sounds familiar. It travels to the purple sea. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. It travels to the purple sea. The answer to that is... The red trees have left the forest. I hope that helps you. It does. Thank you, Susie. Um, is that it? Ah, you've returned. So do you have the answer? Hold on a second. Are you playing the game too? Why, of course. There's no rule against it after all. So do you have the answer? I, um, yes. The red trees have left the forest. Now they grow on the golden beach. Incredible. That's the right answer. You've won. And in record time, too. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. Here's your prize. A bottle of caraway liquor. Thank you very much. I got to dash. Have a good evening. You too, my friend. Don't drop the bottle. We've got liquor. <clears throat> good news. The hazelnut candles are just firming up. They should be fresh and ready to go right after the contest, if not before. Oh, okay. Well, I think one of those people wanted to give it to us. Mr. Hendrick, I have the liquor. You, you can always rely on Team Santa's for us. Can I have the pickle weed now? Of course. He held you up here into the bargain, and so shall I. Here's your prize. A bottle of the finest pickle weed. Thank you. Sorry, I've got to run. I've got the ingredient. What? Really? That's awesome. You're the best sous chef in the world. We can talk more later. Time's running out. We can talk more later. Time's running out. Oh, okay. So, my lovelies, your time is up. The cooking period is now officially over. Set your wooden spoons to one side and prepare for the tasting. Dig in, folks. Official announcers get first dibs. Hee hee. Oh, okay. That was fantastic. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I don't think I'll ever need to eat again. Before we get to the award ceremony, there's something I'd like to get off my chest. There are a lot of different people living here in Porcupine. Some have only been here for a short time, others have spent their whole lives here. And that's good, in the way things should be. Be kind to each other, be grateful, be understanding. If you do that, Porcupine will remain the beautiful place it is. Maybe these are just the little funny thoughts of an old woman. Or maybe I've already had a nougat punch or two. <laughs> Look at that dog over there, like, looking around. <laughs> but I love all of you. So, before the food coma sits in, let's get in the award ceremony. To refresh your memory, here are the participants in their creations. Chloe took us on a wild journey through the world of porcupine mushrooms. Roman presented you with a special pickleweed pot. Isaac whipped up some homemade alphabet soup for our bookworms. Wonderful handwriting, by the way. Our lovely Mia, a first time contestant today, gave us a tomato soup that I'm sure has bowled over more than a few of you over. And our last candidate is someone we only normally see when we're sick. Sergi, head chef of the cafeteria at St. Ursula's. His entry this year was a fiery hot pepper stew. Okay, that's everyone. Now hold on to your spoons, it's about to get serious. The winner of this year's Pokemon Soup Contest is... Mia with her fruity spicy tomato stew. Really? Congratulations. Yes! Congratulations! What a great stew! And that goes for all of you as well. Congratulations on your amazing creations. And congratulations to everyone who got their hands on a bowl. You are really lucky to get to taste such wonderful stews. And now, let the celebrations continue. You said it. Hee <laughs> wonder what happens if you don't get the ingredients in time. I wonder if it changes at all. Can I get my candle now? I need my candle. 
Phew, finally done. I couldn't concentrate with all the excitement of the contest in the background. Anyway, can I get you something now? I was wondering if I get a hazelnut candle. One hazelnut candle coming right up. What do I owe you? Nothing. Nothing? That's right, everyone gets one hazelnut candle for free if they want it. Oh, that's very nice of you. But doesn't it mean you end up losing money on the candles? Yes, but making hazelnut candles is my favorite hobby. So I really don't mind. It means I need a little while to make them though. But at least they always smell fantastic. Enjoy your candle. It's very nice of you, thank you. Happy Hibernation Festival. Leo, you are awesome. Congratulations. Gee, thanks. Did you like this too? Even better than that. I haven't even tasted it yet. What? Why? Because the whole pot got gobbled up straight away. I didn't stand a chance. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, it's no big deal. I could see how delicious it was from the looks in everyone's eyes. Celebrate, Mia. You burned it. Thanks. I feel a little awkward, actually. Where's our buddy? Should we say bye to her? Where'd she go? Miss Carl. There she is. Oh, I can't even say bye to her. Okay, well, that's awkward. This will, well, I'll say something to Carl. Okay, can't say anything to Carl. He's too busy dancing. All right, I guess we'll just leave. Mia, is everything all right? Yes, everything's great. I wanted to give you something. Really? Is there still some of your stula? No, that was gone in a flash. But you're the one who taught me to enter in the contest in the first place. And that evening we cooked together really motivated me. What's more, you didn't just chop the ingredients for me. You also brought me the key ingredient today. What I'm saying is that I couldn't have done this without you. Which is why I want you to have my winner's trophy. Really? But you're the one who won it. Yes, but it was as much as your victory as it was mine, really. Besides, I wouldn't even really know where to put it in my apartment. Thank you, Mia. I feel very honored. But how about we share it? It can be one of those trophies that moves from place to place. I'll take it and invite you to dinner sometime, so I can show you my finest cooking skills. Then you can take it home with you, and we can cook again at your place. We can take turns with the trophy and the cooking. Okay, yes. Let's take turns. Happy Hibernation Festival, Tinley. And to you. Celebrate, you deserve it. But now I need to get going. See you in the morning. Good night. All right, let's get to work. <clears throat> we got our candle for Irma. I was like trying to remember her name. Oh my God, is it snowing? Oops. It's snowing. Hey, porcupine. All of you. Happy Hibernation Festival. <laughs> That's sweet. It's like, I want to like this game a lot, but it's also kind of just like, eh. It's kind of meh, you know? Alright, so apparently... At the Hibernation Festival, there's one trophy that's missable here, too. So, we have to go to the break room before we start working. But also, I want to see if he'll get that trophy now for going into the duck. There it is. Not in the mood for the Hibernation Festival? Sure I am. But someone has to keep this place running. I'll be down in a minute, though. Then we'll get the real party started. All that nonsense beforehand with the stews and everything. I can't stand it anyway, boring. I heard you can win a bottle of caraway liquor at the wine stand, though. I've got to get my hands on that. I've heard it's delicious. And there's only one bottle of it. I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Has someone claimed the bottle already? Well... That grease ball. How dare he? The world just isn't a fair place. He won't even appreciate a drink of that quality. When I get my hands on him... Now off to your shift. Dr. Kowalski's waiting. You're on night shift together tonight. Alright, love you. Bye, Irma. Not Irma. I can't remember your name. Alright, let's see if we can get this trophy. 
had to do my little introduction, you know, for this one. All right. Let's try this again. So throughout your story, you just go down here into the basement and you see that air duct up there. Boom, boom, boom. I can hear voices coming through the air vents. Happy Hibernation Festival. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. A gift? You don't usually do this kind of thing. I know, but I saw it when I was out shopping and thought of you. Oh, really? Well, now I'm curious. I'll open it right away. So what do you think? I... I think I should change wards. What? Why? Wait, I... Hospital drama. Trophy unlocked. Ah, feels good to unlock a trophy. So yeah, you just gotta do that four times and then the trophy pops. Gonna go up to number three. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. All right. Let's go to the break room. Hey, what are you doing here? Have we met before? I want to watch TV. But all the shows here are stupid. Wouldn't you rather be sleeping? It's pretty late already. No. I'm not tired at all. Come on, people who get a lot of sleep are, gets... Come on, people who get lots of sleep get better quickly. But my book. Your book? What about it? My book. My mom gave it to me so I wouldn't get scared. But it's gone. Did you lose it? I don't know. Do you remember where you last saw it? Hmm. I was in the restaurant. We were having dinner. And there was a funny man. He had a big spoon. He was using it to do magic. And then he gave me another ice cream. Maybe you left your book there? Yes, it must be there. Can you go look for it? Sure. I'll be right back, okay? Yes. Alright. So let's go down to the cafeteria. Get this book. So we can get this trophy. Should I just take the elevator? Nah, I'd rather walk. I don't know. I haven't took the elevator. Okay. <coughs> as soon as I say that, of course, I don't even have the option of taking the stairs. Now I... This game. Alright, the cafeteria... It's creepy in here. I wish I could jump on stuff. Oh, there's the book. Hmm, this is Emma's book. The figure on the cover looks like a little Dr. Theobald. My visit to the hospital. Cute. Alright, let's go give her the book. We'll go up the stairs like a normal person. I think we've almost got all the trophies already in the game now. I think there's only like 20 or 21. So there's really that many to get. to the break room, deliver this book. Look what I found. Yeah, my book, my book. It was in the restaurant, right? Yes, that's where it was. It's mostly little like mashed potatoes. <laughs> Those were delicious. So what do you think about us taking back to bed? Then you can read the book until you're tired, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, 
Oh wait, where do I, where do I take her? What was her room? <clears throat> okay, it wasn't that one. It wasn't that room. It wasn't that room. Gets to the 301. Now off to bed, all right. Even doctors need their sleep. That's true. Mr. Doctor? Yes, Emma. I want to go home. I know, Emma. I know. You can go home soon, okay? But until then, why don't you think about your favorite spot at home? Your favorite stuffed toy, your favorite book, and the person you like to snuggle up and read with the most. At the window with my mom? That sounds nice. Now imagine chilling up to the window with your mom, and you'll be doing that again very soon. Sweet dreams, Emma. Princess Insomnia, trophy unlocked. All right. Now let's start our shift. If too much time hasn't passed. Good evening, Finley. Happy hibernation, Vessel Dark Rolski. Yes. Hope you had a good time. Yes, I. It's just the two of us today. Holidays are all well and good, but someone has to keep the lights on here. That's true, so how are things looking? As they should, people actually always feel a little better on days like this. Some are homesick, others are just happy to have some peace and quiet. Still, from a psychological point of view, the hibernation festival actually seems to help them. I'll take care of our dear Irma today. Please handle your duties. You'll find me in the break room when you're done. All right, see you soon. Oh God. P33 looks horrifying. Okay, there's writing somewhere, but I don't see it. Oh, okay. It's a good job you know your way around here so well. It's a good job you know your way around here so well. What was that? I would have really loved to go to the hibernation festival today. I'm sure you would. I'm sorry I didn't work out. It's okay. I've been having my own little hibernation festival right here. I just had a coffee with cream and hazelnut. It was the highlight of my day. <laughs> you have an inflammation of the right renal pelvis. Are you in pain? Yes, but I'm trying not to let it get to me. All right, but don't make things too uncomfortable for yourself. We can always get you some painkillers if you want. For now, I'm going to give you some medication to help bring this falling down. All right, let's help this person out. Oh god, where's your good veins, buddy? I imagine it's gotta be that, right? B? Please tell us if the pain gets any worse, or if you have any problems urinating. You shouldn't really be drinking caffeine this late in the day, but you might find that coffee helps you a little. Anyway, I wish you a wonderful hibernation festival and you sound like sleep. Thank you. I'm definitely wide awake right now. I've got to admit. Is Irma in here? No. But I have her candle! Maybe I get to give it to her later. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wait. Well, that's 301. Or is that where we put the owl? Okay, that's just Emma. I shouldn't say it's just Emma, but you know what I mean. Where did we lose the candle when we got the book? That'd be kind of messed up. <clears throat> Good evening, Miss Van Gallen. I, it's important not to get rattled. After every inhalation comes an exhalation. Everything that is closed will one day be open again and vice versa. May I interrupt for a moment? Oh. Hello, Finley. I didn't hear you come in. We were just lost in conversation. I bumped into dear Sanja this evening in the cafeteria. That's one way of putting it. I forgot I was meant to have an important meeting today. Suddenly it got hard to breathe and I passed out again. Dr. Couture brought me back up here. I have to admit, a certain amount of luck Benjamin from surgery happened to be passing through at the time, too. It was a huge help in getting Sanja up here safely. Thank you, Dr. Katara. 
What were you talking about? Oh, this and that. Ourselves, the world. I helped Miss Van Gallen breathe until she managed to calm down. Miss Van Gallen, I wish you all the best and now I naturally carry for both body and mind. Now I've already taken far too long of a break. I wish you both a pleasant evening. Thank you, you too. How are you feeling, Miss Van Gallen? I still feel a little out of sorts. Your blood pressure must have begun fluctuating. You had an extremely high resting pulse when you first arrived here. The drugs were to delete your blood pressure. Dr. Gortaro kept talking to me until I felt better. He was saying something about my inner core breathing exercise that kind of thing. I tried yoga once, but not my cup of tea. Yes, Dr. Gortaro has his own way of looking at things, but he wasn't exactly wrong. Hmm? Let me check your readings. We have to make sure that the drugs are working so you remain stable. All right. Yeah, why don't you lay down, you little freak with your blood all over your mouth? Ugh. All right, let's do this. medication will only go part of the way to solving your problem. It would be wise to develop ways to reduce stress. Unfortunately, this happens to a lot of people nowadays. But how am I supposed to avoid stress? Well, there are a few options, but you'll need to work out what works best for you. They didn't teach as much about stress avoidance techniques at medical school, to be honest. The things that Dr. Kotaro said, they kind of helped. I'm going to take a nap. Maybe I'll get lucky and catch Dr. Kotaro again tomorrow. Rest well. P-33 looks like a monster. I'm scared. No oh god, I'm so scared. Dr. Gerda Ginstoff? Finally. Bring me back a cup of black tea. Then tell Dr. Theobald that I want to speak to him. Um, I'm actually your attending physician. You're a doctor? St. Ursula, save us. You're barely out of diapers. Do they sell medical degrees online now? Let's not lose sight of the matter at hand, Dr. Ginson Strower. You come to us today suffering from severe tremors. On top of that, you've been complaining of recurrent itching and muscle atrophy. Liver crisis. What? Liver crisis. Are you deaf? Have you already been diagnosed? I can't see anything here. I'm a surgeon, child. I've had liver crisis for longer than you've been alive. Accordingly, I'm aware of the high morality rate of when surgical intervention becomes necessary. That's why I'm here. So let's get to the chase and get down to business. <clears throat> so I need two blues. Green. The blue's a little too high. Let's see that. See what happens. Probably get a B. Your liver readings are in the critical range. You don't say. To make sure it is crisis of the liver we're dealing with, we need to do a liver biopsy. No. No. I already know it's crisis of the liver. What do you take me for? Although I'm sure your accounting department will be thrilled if you carry out a few unnecessary procedures that they can charge me for. What if it's not liver crisis? Do I have to teach you how to treat me right here? Listen. I, I like you drink if you know what I mean. Excuse me? I'm talking about chronic alcohol abuse. And your nursing staff insists I don't drink here. So now I have two problems. Alcohol withdrawal and this blasted liver cryosis. According to the latest research, your symptoms could also be triggered by other diseases. New research. A little waffle, that's what it is. Well, go ahead. I'm sure you know exactly what you're doing. All right, love you, bye. She was fun.
I guess I should go to the break room. I'm done, Dr. Kowalski. Do you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, everything's fine. You're right, the patients really are doing a little better today. I'm glad I'm on the night shift now. It's really quite pleasant, if you say so. Well, let's see. Oh, I got a C, A, and a B. Never got lower than a B before. You were really quick today, I like that. I have one more request for you. Of course, what? Irma, I mean, Miss Damalka. I've been watching her tonight, and she's not doing very well. She asked if the nice doctor would stop by again today. I think she means you. Why don't you go check on her? I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. Sure, I'd love to. I've got a gift I wanted to give her anyway. Well, don't keep her waiting. All right. Should we give her the gift now? Or should I end? Yeah, I'll have to end the video here. We'll give her the gift tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching.